All right, update on short-term versus long-term thinking. I don't know if this is an update or this is the first date. I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, uh, I have noticed a common theme that has happened over my life in the recent years. Uh, and then I noticed it once we had the baby. So once we had Penelope, it has been about nine and a half months. We're working on coming up on 10 months. She just started crawling recently and she like scoots. She doesn't necessarily crawl yet. She is scooting fast. She's like a cat um, across the floor. So it's been interesting to say, okay, nine and a half months, short period of time. A lot has happened in a very short period of time. But a short period of time could be one day and we look at nine and a half months as being a long day. But it's a short period of time. It really, really is. And it's pretty amazing what she's accomplished and so on. So let's talk about what everyone's expectations are and the assumptions. So we work as a super holistic pediatrician, like about as holistic as you come, come across and she's amazing. One thing she's told us every time we've gone in there is that Penelope, until this last appointment, which was the nine month appointment, was in the 10 percentile, like the, the bottom 10 percentile for height and weight. She was a munchkin. We had people that were like, oh, she's four months old. We're like, no, nah, she's like eight and a half. You know, and like even mobility and things that she's done has been a little bit slower than like what they consider average. But who the hell wants to be average, right? It's stupid. Um, but I know they need to monitor and make sure everything's going correctly. So what's been interesting though is that she has been behind the curve of average since she's been born. And people have been telling us all the time to be like, well, maybe you should see this person or see this person or get this checked out or get this checked out. And the other last week, week ago, I just told Kate, I was like, we're not doing anything. Like, we're just going to let Penelope be on her own timeline. And she's been behind what they consider average her entire life, a physical body of this existence. So she will grow and develop when her time's right. And... It's just such an interesting thing. So we've been, we were super, you know, relaxed about it. And next thing you know, like three days ago, she just starts scooting. She's scooting. And she, it's so cool to watch. Uh, she's strengthening her legs. Her, her arms are getting stronger. Like her knees, her elbows from being on the ground and scooting around. Like it's, it's really incredible. So the, but what does this have to do with short-term versus long-term thinking, right? If I would have said short term that she needs to be walking like this week because that's what the average says, it's like against her, what her development is, against what she wants to create for herself. I, I, there's this common crazy thing that like babies are different than we are. They're not. Like they're still humans. Babies are smaller. They just don't have a, the years of experience that we carry around, right? I've been alive for 33 years. That's a lot of time. Right, she's been alive for nine and a half months. You know, in the physical form, let's say. Nine and a half months, that's just a short period of time. But the way we operate are very similar. So, let's bring this back. So when I think of Penelope, like long term, I want Penelope to have a very long, healthy life. And I want her to live a very healthy life. But when I look at the world that we're currently living in, so let's take, we have the baby boomers, we have Generation X, we have Generation Y, we have everybody below Generation Y, which is Generation Z, and everything else that's happening there. There has been a lot of short-term thinking about how to run our business, how to operate our life, how to live our life. If people would look, like when we make decisions, I always make decisions about what is going to happen five years from now. And I look at to say, okay, granted, we're changing, the world's changing so fast right now. It's happening so quickly. But the reality is like, what I'm doing now is it sustainable in five years from now. And I make a decision based off of that thought process. And is this gonna be good for humans in five years from now? So for instance, like digging oil, let's use that as an example, right? Is that good for humans in 20 years from now? Actually, is that good for humans now? Like we are extracting things from the earth we're supposedly putting, replacing it, but like there's been a lot more earthquakes, there's a lot more tsunamis, there's a lot more, um, lots of bad things or tra tragedies are happening from Mother Earth. My philosophy is because we have been beating the earth up, it's this is how it 
balances itself back out, right? And the reality of that, if we think about like sucking oil out of the ground and then we put it in our cars or automobiles, exactly what I'm driving right now, and it goes into the earth and the planet and pollution, that's not good for mankind, right? But it's good for profits. It's good for quarterly profits. Quarterly profits are short-term thinking. So too many times, and let's, so too many times we're thinking about money and profits and where the, how we can make money quickly, how we can make money fast, but we don't want to spend time on understanding the psychology behind what it requires us to make money, working on our stuff, because those things don't have the benefit in the short term usually, but there's more benefit for that in the long term. And that's where people fail to make, and that's where I failed many times to make, it's bright, uh, failed to make, and I've made the wrong decisions because I was more concerned with my short-term thought process than my long-term outlook on things. And that's where we get into, the, it's not getting done quick enough, we need to make more money, we need to, I need to lose 10 pounds, I need to lose more health, I need to pop these pills because it's gonna help me, I need to take arthritis medication. I, you know, just look at like obesity and diabetes, for instance, and the rise that that's happened. You have to change your lifestyle. Like the bottom line, like to not be fat is you have to change what you're eating and the amount of movement that's taking place. It's pretty simple, right? I was, for me, became fat after we had the baby. In 45 days, I have created quite a transformation for myself and I'm pretty happy about that. But for me to sustain that for the next 50 years, if I go back to my old lifestyle, I just get fatter and fatter and fatter and then I'm one of those guys that can't see my penis when I'm 50 years old because my belly's so big, right? So that has to create from a long-term mindset and long-term shift. And that's what I gotta say, like when we're making our decisions, think more of a long-term perspective on things, okay? Like think more like 20 years from now because the decisions we're making, if we continually make those in the world that we're happening today, there will be no world for Penelope to live on when she's 95 years old. You know, it's just like, there's not gonna be a planet. So if we start educating ourselves, and sitting back and doing nothing about it is not the good way to do it. Like, that's not a good good philosophy to be, it's just sit back and do nothing, like, or say nothing. We have to really make an effort to make better decisions, become better leaders in the planet, and be better human beings. Because our, our kids will be better, our neighbors will be better, who we are as human beings will be better. And if we lead from that standpoint where we just wanna make what the decisions we're making are better long term for us, our short term decisions will be better too. So things that we adapt and make now will end up being better. That's what I got for you today on short term versus long term thinking. We think we operate in a world that completely thinks short term. Now, 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 now. Uh, now you're famous, now you're not. Now you're like, it's just like every day the amount of information that's bombarded on us constantly is about short term. And if we ignore a lot of that and think more for the long term, you know, 50 years from now, not that you're gonna operate in a world of 50 years from now, but at least you know the decisions I'm making now will have a positive impact on my humanity as well as humanity in general 50 years from now will have a lot of positivity. What do you think? What's your thoughts on long-term versus short-term thinking? Have a great day. Cheers.